Hey guys, C Drama Invasion here, and welcome back to a new video. So last week I actually covered the dramas that came out up to July 26. However, I didn't catch Song of Youth, which dropped also on July 26, really randomly, without any promotions or any warnings. But this drama stars Bai Lu, Wang Yiza, and Gina Jin Chen. This drama has 43 episodes and airs on Yuku. It's a historical rom-com family drama. And despite the big cast, I'm surprised there's not too much buzz on this drama. Maybe it's because a lot of people are tuning into You Are My Glory and other sweet modern romances. And also it could be because Yuku is taking a longer time to put up English subtitles. This is about Bailu's character who catches the eye of a wealthy man. He ends up helping her to take the national exam, which is usually reserved for men, and she has to disguise as a man. After she passes, she becomes a successful businesswoman. They marry, and from then on, there's a lot of family drama and obstacles that they must face together. A lot of people are comparing this to The Sword and The Brocade, and also My Heroic Husband. And unfortunately, I dropped both of these dramas, so I'm a bit hesitant, but since I love the cast so much, I'm still going to try to give this one a go. Let me know your thoughts on this one so far, and perhaps I'll make a video of all the dramas I dropped or couldn't finish so far in 2021. On July 29th, First Love Again, a 24-episode Aichi Yi drama from their Sweet On series, dropped. This is a romance school youth fantasy drama starring Patrick Shi and Amy Chen. I've been loving the Sweet On series. I still need to finish The Day of Becoming You. That's the only one that I'm behind on, but I'm going to try to catch up and finish all of them so I can rank my favorite ones from the entire Sweet On series. But all of them so far has been a solid 8 to 9, which is super high for me. And I'm not even one to really watch a lot of romance modern dramas but really enjoy these. This one is a time travel one with multiple timelines and a parallel universe. So it's about two people who meet again. And even though this does sound like the someday or one day plot or a lot of other dramas where you relive your youth again and fall in love again or make different choices, this is essentially that. Based on early reviews, a lot of people are enjoying that there's a lot of butterfly effect moments so like if you change something in the past it will change the outcome in the future as well and for such a short and low budget drama this sounds like it could be really good on august 2nd a river runs through it starring richards wang and hu yishuan dropped as well this is a yuku drama it's a romance school friendship youth coming of age drama and it follows a bunch of students who go through life experiences and overcome the difficulties of the transition period between high school, college, and then the workplace. Based on early reviews of the first five to six episodes on this, everyone is saying that there's a lot of nostalgic touching moments as well as a lot of hilarious moments too. And are recommending this for people who enjoyed Go Ahead or When We Were Young. On August 3rd, Aichi Yi dropped the drama Crush with Wan Peng and Evan Lin as the leads. This is a second chance romance about a college student who falls in love with a mysterious songwriter. They end up meeting one another and she finds out that he has visual impairment. But despite this, she finds that he is really sweet and nice despite coming off as arrogant because of his family trauma and issues. And after that, they end up really falling in love with each other, dating for a while. And then it skips over to three years later, where they have both been down two different separate paths, and they meet again. There's just so many good dramas that are coming out. Let me know your top recommendation down in the comments below. I'm trying to pick a couple up and watch them, but there's just way too much, so I can't decide. As for some drama news that recently wrapped up filming, we have the drama The Young Flying Fox starring Qin Junjia, Liang Jia, and Xing Fei, who starred in a collab shoot for Esquire China as they wrapped filming. This is an upcoming wuxia historical drama. 
I really like all three actors, especially Lang Jia and Xing Fei. It'll be very interesting to see them together. They're both more known for rom-coms, and this one seems like a more serious role, so we'll have to wait and see how this turns out. And we also have The Wind Blows from Long Shi, based off of a novel starring Chen Kun and Bai Yu. We also have special appearances by Ni Yuan and Angela Baby. This wrapped filming on July 31st. This is one of Aichi's biggest projects with very big names, as you can tell, and it is a historical mystery investigation and political drama. It's about the war between Wei and Shu. Both are kingdoms and they deploy spies. There's hidden identities, corruption, and politics. This has one of those grittier color palettes based off of their photos and I'm sure this is going to be a hit when it comes out in terms of quality. Cheng Yi and Yang Zhu's Agarwood Like Crumbs also released new posters on July 30th. They look really great in their historical costumes and there's even some scenes that are taken from fan photos that leaked out that Cheng Yi will be stabbed a couple of times by Yang Zhu's character which sparked a lot of funny little memes and discussions about how Cheng Yi's character seems to always get betrayed or stabbed in his drama roles. It seems like this upcoming drama will have a lot of angst, but maybe that would mean that the romance will be extra good too. I love both Ashes of Love and Love and Redemption. They are some of my top Shanxia dramas of all time, so this makes me super excited to see how well they'll fit together on screen. It's also official that Love Like the Galaxy starring Wu Lei and Zhao Lu Si will be an upcoming drama next year. There was a lot of rumors behind this and I'm glad that it's now official. Another super excited news is that my number one anticipated BLC drama production happened and there were so many rumors in the past few months of who will be the main leads but we have an official confirmation where the leads are Zhang Linghe and Zai Xiaowen. There hasn't been any booting ceremony yet, but there's just been so many leaks and everyone's been following them, so so many photos up. In interesting news and possible rumors, we have Dilraba's drama You Are My Glory, which premiered on the first day and in four hours it surpassed 100 million views, which is such a good achievement. And obviously the stars are beautiful and everyone's looking forward to it. It's such a good drama. I don't think it's overrated. And if you were thinking about it and are hesitating for some reason, then make sure to check it out. There's been a rumor that Liu Shuiyi and Li Hongyi might be in a Yuku S Plus drama adaptation. Not sure if this is a BL drama, but if anybody knows, if Xiao Nian Ge Xing is a BL novel or not, let me know in the comments below. But the director is actually by Yin Tao, who directed Love and Redemption and Ancient Love Poetry. And of all the dramas, I think some of the most surprising news is that Remembrance of Things Past, starring Zhou Yu Tong, is actually one of the highest rated Doban dramas. It opened with an 8.4. And Doban is one of those platforms that are known to be extra critical. So this kind of piqued my interest and I kind of want to watch it now. Generally, their dramas is somewhere between a 5 to a 6. And that would be like an average. But if it's over like 7 or 8, then it's really good. Anyways, that's it for this video. I'll leave all the Chris Wu stuff in the Chinese scandal playlist. So if you want to check out the latest updates, then make sure to check that playlist out and you can watch all of the parts that I've put up so far. As usual, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Comment something down below. It really helps out my channel. And for anyone who wants to give me extra support, make sure to check my Ko-Fi page also linked in the description box. And as usual, all of the drama names are listed below in the description box as well. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.